Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm so glad you're here. If you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. It means everything. So you guys, I just got done filming actually my, is it March? Or, well, what is, yeah, so it must have been March BoxyCharm um, drop shop order. And then with a couple little very exciting TJ Maxx and Marshalls finds. Um, and I don't know which video is going to go live first, but we're going to jump into the very last of my eyeshadow palette tour collection for my current eyeshadow palette collection. So it has been five videos long because there are a lot. If you missed my other ones, I'll have everything linked in in the description box below and I definitely check them out so this will actually conclude my whole makeup collection tour we have went oh no I'm sorry I lied <laughs> we didn't do my eyeshadow singles so that will be the last and then that'll be it we will have done my whole makeup collection um, which is really, really cool. In fact, what I will do, you guys, if you want to check out the rest of my makeup collection, I will list all of the videos with, you know, what they are um, and link them in the description box below so you can check them out if you're newer to the channel and you just want something to watch. They're a lot of fun to do. I know I love watching videos like that. So I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Then again, if you're new, I also have a video. Uh, I also have a video. I've got a lot of videos. I also have a giveaway going on right now. Um, it was for my one thousand subscribers here on the channel it's amazing you guys it retails over a thousand dollars a lot of amazing products makeup and skincare um i'll have the video linked in the description box below if you're new and you want to get your entry all you have to do is be subscribed here on the channel and then leave a comment on the giveaway video where it shows all of the goodies because that's how the winners are chosen through a comment picker so definitely check the description box below. The video will be linked down there so that it's a very easy for you to find if you're new and you want to get your entry. Um, it's going to be closing very soon, about a week or so. It will be closing and the winner will be chosen and then we'll be opening a brand new giveaway because giveaways are huge here on the channel. Um, okay, guys, we're going to get in to the very last of my palette collection. Let's roll. Grab a drink, grab a snack, grab your cozy socks and your pet, and let's get in to some shadows. Okay, so the first one I want to show is kind of funny because I showed all of the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes that I had. In one of my other eyeshadow collection tour videos down below. Um, and I said that at one time I had the Ayana palette from BoxyCharm and that I also had the Jubilee palette. I gave the Ayana palette to my sister um, because I thought that she would really like it and I just wasn't feeling it for some reason. Um, but, and she does love it, so that's good. But that I also had the Jubilee palette and that it was missing and I had no idea. I hadn't seen it since like around Christmas time. And, um, it was funny because in the video I said, you know, with my kids, who knows, it might be in a couch somewhere. And guess where I found it? In the basement couch. <laughs> so here is the Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona Jubilee palette. It did come from a BoxyCharm. Um, I have actually used this a couple times, the yellow and the um, kind of like light teal color down there are very pretty. This looks like a black, but it's actually a very dark green blue color um that's actually really nice for kind of like lining with shadow um but this palette I did use a couple times and I didn't hate it because there's been some of her palettes that I've tried like you know the smaller palettes like this that I wasn't blown away by and everybody seems so you know her, she seems so hyped up uh that I often wondered like was it me was it did I get like a weird palette that is like a different formulation or something because I don't love these shadows um but this one I did like and also her cupid palette I really really like so and I do like the mini love palette that I have as well but anyhow moving on this is one of the Ulta Beauty brand palettes it is Sunset Skies 
Um, I do like this palette. It is a very warm toned neutral palette. The shimmers are really, really, really great on this palette actually. And, uh, I have used it a few times, not nearly as much as I would like to. Um, this color here is like a really pretty rose gold shimmer. Look, you can see the shift on that. So pretty, but also a lot like a lot of other colors that I have as well. So, you know, my palettes don't get as much use as they should, but that's only just because I have so many. But this is also a very, very affordable brand. The Ulta Beauty palettes are, and I think that the quality is decent. So, next, this is from Tresluce Beauty. I think this came out of an Ipsy. Um, it's kind of like one of the smaller ones and it is called Beautiful Bella. Yes, now I remember. It did come out of an Ipsy and I did use it in my Ipsy on bagging and created a look with it. And uh, I really do think that she's got a nice formula. Um, I think, the, rumor has it, that BoxyCharm Choice for May is going to include a large palette of Tresluce Beauty. And that puts me in a spot where I'm like, damn, because if it's a choice for the base box, I get the base box in PR. And then I also purchase my own base box. And I also purchase the premium box. So I'm like, I really want the palette. It looks beautiful. And I already know that I enjoy her formula. But if I pick it for my box and then I get it in PR, it's kind of like, damn, I should have picked something else. But if that happens, I don't think that I'm going to pass up the palette. I don't want to not pick it and assume I'm going to get it in my PR box and then not and then end up not getting it because then I'll be really upset. So I think I'll pick it. And then if I end up getting it in my PR box, I'll be able to do a giveaway here on the channel with the extra palette. And then one of you that maybe don't get BoxyCharm or uh, didn't get the palette in your box or you know whatever somebody here on the channel will get to try it so next I do have a Jeffree Star palette this actually came out of a high-end makeup mystery box that I bought off of Etsy I unboxed it here on the channel it was actually a really really cool um and I got a Jeffree Star palette in it this is the lust palette the blood lust palette um I love okay can I open it I can't remember how to open this dang thing I can't remember how to open this palette. It's not opening. What in the heck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it is a really, really, really pretty kind of purple and pink themed palette. Jeffree Star does have amazing eyeshadows. I know that Jeffree Star's person has a lot of controversy surrounding him and a lot of people think that he's messy and don't like him. I'm not talking about Jeffree Star the person. I'm talking about Jeffree Star's eyeshadows and I do like them. I think that they are great quality. Um, I have heard uh, that he is racist and uh, you shouldn't include anything about him on your channel. Um, I am not a racist. I have a biracial son. So I am far from racist, uh, but I do not nece necessarily support Jeffree Star, but I don't not support him either. I'm just neutral. I'm just a makeup lover with a Jeffree Star palette <laughs> that I happen to like. <laughs> so there's that. Next, let's talk about these huge space takers. These came from a BoxyCharm Premium. Well, one of them came from a Premium and one of them came from the BoxyCharm Sale because I wanted both. <laughs> so I picked one and then bought the other. Um, but these are the ABH Norvina Collection palettes. BoxyCharm last summer did a... Uh, ABH takeover box and Anastasia Beverly Hills takeover box, meaning everything in the premium box was going to be from that brand. That was pretty cool. Although I do remember that box and I was a little disappointed with mine. I got like the brow gel, which at that time I did not use any type of brow gels. I got the setting spray, which I ended up loving and then repurchasing. But at the time I was bummed out about it because I'm like, I don't want this, but I ended up loving it and then repurchasing it. But I just remember at the time getting the box and being underwhelmed with it but anyhow 
So this is the volume three. The colors are very, very, very vibrant. And then this is the volume one. And this is the one that I picked for my box. And then I picked the other one up in the add-ons. And as you can see, they are virtually untouched. Um, I have used both of them about two or three times a piece. And every time that I used them, I absolutely hated the look that I came up with enough to wear. I didn't wear it for the rest of the day. I washed it off and either redid my makeup with another palette or just didn't mess with anything else that day. Um, so I don't even know why I'm holding on to them. If I'm being honest, I should probably declutter them and don't come for me. I know a lot of people love these palettes. They're just not for me. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't get these palettes to work for me. Um, maybe I should revisit it. You never know. I could have a better day with them. I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't know. And they take a lot of space for something that I don't use. That's why I'm, that's, you know, they take a whole lot of space for something that doesn't work for me. But uh, maybe I'll revisit them again. And then if again, they don't work, I'll just, you know, give them to my niece or maybe put them on Macari or something like that. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is so funny, you guys. This brings back memories to when I found this palette on Amazon that is literally an exact dupe for the ABH palette for like $9. And so I bought two of them and I decided we would try a look with it on the channel. This is a long time ago, like very close to when I first started my channel. If you're interested in watching the video, you guys, it was a complete fail. The look was awful. Um, and if you want a good laugh, I'll link it in the description box below. It'll say, check out my ABH Norvina dupe video. And then it'll have the link to the video if you want to see it, you guys, if you want to laugh. Um, it was literally the worst. But um, not because the palette didn't perform. Actually, for $8, the palette performed pretty damn well. And it is literally an exact dupe. Like, let me show you side by side. Um, and so what I did was I bought two of them and I made a giveaway. I did a look and then I made a giveaway with the other one. Now, this Amazon one does not have a big old mirror like this one, but it's literally pretty much an exact dupe, as you can see. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the dupe was just as good because I've never had any luck with the ABH. If I'm just keeping it real, guys, you know that we gotta keep it real. <laughs> okay, moving along, this is a palette that I absolutely adore. This is the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. It is the um, kind of like neutral purple pink one. <laughs> I have definitely, as you can see, used this. There are some serious dents in some of those colors. Um, I have created stunning looks with this palette. I need to pull it out more. It's a palette that I truly, truly enjoy. Next, this is another palette that I really like. Um, it is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. So pretty. Very, very pretty. The uh, shimmer on here is just, I love this shimmer. It's so soft, though. You got to be really careful. You almost have to get it on your finger and then re kind of like press it in. But it's so wet looking. Look at that. That is a wet looking shimmer. It's, but it's just very, very, very soft and a little bit flaky, but not anything that if you, you know, kind of know that you're dealing with a, with a very soft, flaky shadow and you know how to work with it, then it's a cinch. It's no big deal. Um, but just a really, really pretty color pop palette. I, I recommend this palette. I think it's, a nice addition to anybody's collection. ColourPop has got some good stuff. I mean, if you if you're asking me, I I like ColourPop. 
Next, um, I've got some Jeffree Star Single Shadows in a Z-Pack palette. So the Z-Pack palette along with the Single Shadows came out of Jeffree Star Mystery Boxes that I bought last summer, I guess. Um, and those are the shades that I got. That pink is really, really pretty. It's kind of like a, kind of like a champagne neutral shifty pink color and then I got the rest mattes which I would have loved to get all shimmers but I didn't and then it also came with the magnetized z-pack palette so that just came you know like I said out of the mystery box and I have it I've I don't think I've used any of them except for the shimmer they're just there taking up my space Next, this is a very recent purchase. This is by Complex Culture, which is actually Ipsy's own brand that they came up with. And this is an eyeshadow palette that I don't know the name of. Full-time eyeshadow palette, I guess. I still have yet to use it. I think I swatched, you can tell I swatched a couple of the shimmers or maybe just the golden one on top. Um, but it's kind of a mix between warm and cool tones. Well, at least I see one cool tone and then that one's a little on the cooler side. Yeah, this is a mix between cool and warm tones, neutral palette, which I do love my bronzes and my neutral colors because I'm a brown eyed girl and it complements my eye color. Um, but I have, you know, it's so funny to me because people get really upset about receiving the Complex Culture brand in their subscription boxes. Whoops, because they're like, that's Ipsy's brand. They shouldn't be putting it in the subscription. Like, you know, they should be putting, you know, other brands in. And I get that. I do. I'm not necessarily disagreeing with that. However, if I'm being honest and if I'm keeping it 100% real, I have loved everything that I have tried from the brand. I have a little blush palette that is pigmented and beautiful. Um, I might have it in my top drawer. Um, but you know what? I don't, I don't want to dig. This is going to be a long enough video. I... I their brushes, but I had not tried their eyeshadow. And so I wanted to, I saw it on the BoxyCharm sale because now BoxyCharm and Ipsy are merged. So I was able to pick it up on the BoxyCharm sale for quite a discount um, from the retail value. Packaging feels kind of like that cheap plastic, but it looks pretty. It's got the shiny inside and a nice mirror. Um, and uh, we'll make a point to give this palette a shot together here on the channel and see what we think about the eyeshadows. I think I liked the way they swatched. Let's actually just, cause I, I really can't remember. Okay, so that is the golden color, definitely pigmented. That's for sure. Feels a little on the chalky side, but I really kind of want to see how this cool toned shimmer color looks let's check that one out now this one feels a little bit more buttery the, the golden one felt a little chalky that one does feel a little more buttery and it is like a cool toned shimmer that is beautiful you know what you guys i have not ever until very recently been into cool tones um, I just felt like the warm tones worked better on me. But then one day I made a cool toned look. I think I used my Marc Jacobs. I can't think of the name of it, but it's with the long skinny palette with all cool toned neutral colors. And I was like, damn, that looks good. I really, really liked it. And then ever since then, I've been more apt to play with cool tones and I've really, really been enjoying them. Same with greens. I haven't made it that far with the blues yet. But greens, I have been loving greens and cool tones, whereas before was not my jam. I was like pink, purple, gold, champagne, neutral, and that's about as far as we went. Uh, you know, unless I was just playing around and it wasn't, you know, going out of the house or anything like that. But yeah, we'll try this out together very soon. Next, I got something from Ofer Cosmetics. This is the 
On the... Oh, this is actually... Okay, so this isn't an eyeshadow palette. This is the On the Glow palette. It's stored with my eyeshadow palettes, obviously, because of the size of it. Um, but it actually came from BoxyCharm. I know it came from BoxyCharm. I think it was, like, in the Lux box, but I didn't get Lux. And I get... I get PR in the base box, but I didn't, I wasn't somebody that received, um, the premium and the Lux in PR. I only received the base box in PR, but now they actually changed that as of April, there will be no more people getting the premium box in PR and everybody that gets BoxyCharm PR will get the base box and they will also get the Lux box on the Lux months, which I think is super cool. And I am so excited for that. Now, if you were somebody who received all three, you're probably pissed because you're not getting, you're not getting the premium box anymore. And you're, you know, now everybody gets the Lux and the base. But for somebody that just got the base in PR, I'm like, heck yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I'm excited. But anyhow, um, I love Ofra Cosmetics. And to be quite honest, I haven't used this much at all. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I kind of forget that I have it because it's tucked way down underneath like my big eyeshadow palettes. And for everyday use, uh, I pick things that are small, like my little Huda Beauty 9 pans and things that are like this size. They're easy to grab when I'm in a rush. I need to go to work. I'm like not trying to like sit here and take forever and dig through my massive piles of shit. I just need something quick that's going to work, right? So that's why like big palettes kind of get lost in my collection and they get neglected because I have a lot to dig through to get to them. And if you've seen my other eyeshadow collection videos, then you know, like it's a lot, man. It's a lot for my small little makeup area that I, that I have here. So, um, that's what's happened with that. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's a beautiful palette. I do really want to get some more use out of it. I think I'll put it in one of my drawers of where I actually sit instead of like one of my around me makeup storage areas so that I can reach for it and enjoy it and give it a try because I've barely touched it. Okay, next from Ciate London, this is the I Am A Woman What's Your Superpower palette. This was purchased from a BoxyCharm sale. I have used it as you can see, several colors have been used. And I actually really like this palette. It performed really, really well for me. I will say that I do love the Ciate London brand. There's a lot of products that they make that I am in love with. Their um, shadow flip um, eyeshadows, love those. I have one of every single color in my liquid shadow drawer and then one of every single color in my backup drawer. So I, I love those. Um, but I will say when it comes to their powdered formula, some of their palettes, kind of like Violet Voss for me, are a little bit hit or miss. There have been a few that did not ring my bell, that I did not absolutely love when I used, but this is not one of them. This one I do love, um, and every time I have created a look with the palette, I was really, really impressed and really happy with the way that the look turned out. Here's another Pro Fusion, you guys. Now, this one gets neglected because, again, the size, it gets lost deep down in my piles, but it's so pretty. And Pro Fusion can be purchased at Walmart for very cheap. Like, this palette is under $10, guys, and it's got some beautiful colors. And as you can see, it has been used. Like, it's not an untouched palette a lot of colors this one 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 all of those have been used and you guys let's just for shits and giggles let's swatch a couple of these because it doesn't take a million dollars to be beautiful like you can get a stunning makeup look at walmart you really can yes it's nice to have high-end products I am like, I don't know why, but I'm dying to touch this blue right now. Like, 
you don't have to freaking spend a ton of money to be beautiful. You really, really don't. Like I said, yeah, it's nice to have high-end things and I love my high-end products that I do have, but you can get beautiful and get a beautiful makeup look. Look at that. Look at the pigment on that without spending an arm and a leg. I mean, they swatch beautifully. They perform great. Um, I don't, I will say one thing um, with the Pro Fusion. I definitely recommend using a good eye primer underneath because it will help the longevity of the shadows. Without an eye primer, the pizzazz of the look might not last as long as the high-end counterparts <laughs> but um you can achieve the same look and if you have a good eye primer underneath you can make it last as well so i've got some pro fusion in my collection i'm not above pro fusion <laughs> all right guys we're getting there we're getting there and next from rowan beauty this is their 11 11 palette this is what it looks like. This came out, um, I think I bought it out of a BoxyCharm sale and I swatched it when I got it. And I think I actually unboxed it here on the channel on one of my BoxyCharm drop shop order box, uh, videos. And I swatched it and I thought it was really, really, really flaky and I never ever touched it again. Um, so, but let's just check it out. So this, this has got a really pretty shift in it. I don't know if like you guys can see, it almost looks like an old penny or something. Well, that actually looks like an old penny. This looks like, I don't know. It's just got like a really pretty shift to it. Wow, it feels really sticky right now. That's bizarre. Before it felt flaky, now it feels sticky. Huh. It almost feels like a gel shadow. That is really, really bizarre. Did, it, did I spill something on it or did this go bad or was my finger wet maybe when I touched it from the wet wipe? Let me, let me try a different one. Hold on. Okay. So they are literally feeling really wet. They look beautiful on the finger and they swatch beautifully. I don't know. I don't know what happened with this guys. I'll have to revisit this palette and uh, try it out. I don't know. That's very bizarre. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, moving along. I've got the Island Time palette from... What is this? Oh, okay. This is... Again, guys, this isn't an eyeshadow palette. It shouldn't even be stored with this. I'm going to move it into my blush palette collection area. I've got to get organized down here. I really do. And that is one thing that actually doing this makeup series collection thing here on the channel has really helped me kind of like get myself organized. I have had these last few, well, I wouldn't say few, this last pile of palettes out. Um, but everything else is really nicely organized right now. Well, at least it was when I did it. It's a little messed up now at this point, but we'll, I try guys, I try. Uh, but I will put this with my blushes. This is the um, Island Time Blush. This is actually another product that came out of that high-end Etsy makeup mystery box that I bought and uh, unboxed here on the channel. It's really nice. Um, I've used it maybe a handful of times. I forget that I have it, so. Next, I have the Violet Voss Sunset Palette. This came out of a boxy charm. I did create a look with it here on the channel when I unboxed the box that it came in. And I actually really, really liked it. I did like a really kind of like colorful look. Colorful for me anyways. Colorful for this neutral girl, okay? Um, and I really liked it. So Violet Voss can be hit or miss for me, but this one I did like when I used it, but then I never used it again. So I'll have to make an attempt to jump back into this one because I did like it when I initially tried it. Guys, we're getting to the bottom. We have maybe like, let's see, 17 left maybe. 
about. Next from Jacqueline Hill, this is the Ring the Alarm palette. This is the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe. Uh, I got it for a very discounted price at my local Marshalls. And I think I used it, or maybe I just swatched it. I don't know. There's one of them that I used. Is this the one that I used? I created a look with one of them here on the channel. But I don't think it was this one. I think it was the other Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette that I have, which must have been showed in... It must have been showed in one of my other eyeshadow palettes videos because I don't see it up there. But anyhow, we got a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> and next from Laura Geller, this is, okay, so this is came in a four pack, um, one of the first high-end eyeshadow palettes that were ever in my collection. I've had them for years and years and years, uh, but I just, I can't get rid of them. They're one of my first high-end eyeshadow collections and they came with four little books like this. This is the Sunday fun day. Then there was like a Friday one and a Saturday one and then like a weekday one. So it came with four and then it comes with four eyeshadows, a blush and a highlight in each one. And I do really, I don't reach for them anymore. I've got so many other amazing palettes that I don't reach for them anymore, but they have some sentimental value. And I just do want to mention that I do feel like Laura Geller is a little bit underrated, not very many people talk about her products and I do think that she's got some good stuff. Not everything from the line, you know, like when we're talking like primers, eyeshadows, lipsticks, you know, like blushes. Not everything that I've tried I have been like wowed by, but she's got really, really nice stuff. Like her baked blushes are beautiful. Like if you use one of her baked blushes that are like kind of like swirled, they look like, like, you know, like a big swirl. Um, it's like, you don't even need to put highlight on. It gives you the most beautiful flush of color with a hint of highlight right in it. And, um, her eyeshadows are nice too. So I think she's a little underrated. I feel like nobody talks about her and she's got some good stuff guys. She does. Next, I have from Over Cosmetics, the Sitting Pretty palette. Again, I think this is actually a blush and highlight palette. I, You guys, I gotta get my shit together over here, okay? <laughs> Next, from NARS, this is the Quartz eyeshadow palette. So I actually did a video here on the channel using this in a look and then giving one away in a giveaway. And you guys, actually, tomorrow, so as I'm filming this, tomorrow is Wednesday, the 6th, April 6th. When you guys see this, you know, it might be a totally different day. But as I'm filming this, tomorrow is Wednesday, April 6th, and I will be going in shipping out this and also the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette that two different people won from different giveaways here on the channel. I like to do giveaways here on the channel whenever I can, like whenever I get duplicates from PR and it's stuff that I already have or stuff that I've chosen for like myself whenever I get my boxy charms. Um, I, I do giveaways here on the channel. I also love my iMethod Beauty guys. They're always sponsoring giveaways here on the channel and they let me pick three winners every time, which is amazing. And then I also do just massive giveaways for like milestones and stuff like that. Like my 1k subscriber you guys, I have done so many amazing giveaways here on the channel. I just love it makes me happy. Like, I, I don't know. There's just something about it that gives me a genuine joy. Like, I don't know. It's almost like if, you, if you're a mom, think about Christmas morning and your kids are getting up to see if Santa came. And, of course, they're going into the living room or wherever your Christmas tree is. And, you know, the the awe in their eyes. Oh my God, Santa came and the excitement and then the feeling you get as a mom. That's like how I feel about giveaways here on the channel. Like I swear to God, you guys, it gives me such effing joy. <laughs> Anyhow, moving right along, this 
came from an Ipsy X. I have not used it yet, and I really, really want to. I have not even swatched it yet, guys. This is untouched. It's the Juvia's Place. The Nubian by Juvia's Palette is what it is um, by Juvia's Place. And I have never tried any of their shadows. So I kind of want to swatch it right now, but I kind of want to leave it untouched so that I can come back and do a video where like a first impressions Juvia Place eyeshadow palette formula thing kind of video. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So as you can see, you guys, it is not even swatched. It is literally completely untouched. And this came in the very last Ipsy X. So like a couple months ago and I haven't gotten around to it yet, but we will. We will. <laughs> Next, this is a very recent Ipsy Glam Bag Plus add-on actually. I had the option to choose this and I wanted to choose something else. I think that was in the group for choice. Um, but I did pick it up on add-ons reluctantly because I felt like it looked like a whole lot of other palettes that I've already got and like what am I going to do with it? But I'm actually glad that I did. I created a look with it when I unbagged it here on the channel. It was actually the most recent Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing in my videos and it actually performed so amazing. I loved the look that I created and it is the Carmella Cosmetics Defiance Palette. The packaging is super cute. Kind of reminds me of like the Urban Decay, like the long kind of dilio um, and like the, you know, so, but yeah, like when I saw the pat, when I saw it in picture, for choice on Ipsy. I'm like, oh my God, I have a thousand shadows that look like that. Like what else can I get? And I can't remember what it was that I picked in its place. It might've been like the Cella Beauty, um, good drama mascara, which actually I have on my eyes right now. That's so funny because I haven't used it in the longest time. I haven't used it probably since I got it, you guys. Uh, but I used it today and I have it on right now and I actually really, really like. I, it's very typical for me to not care for a mascara the first time I try it. And then after the formula dries down a little bit, then I end up loving it. And that's definitely what happened with the Chella Beauty one. And I have it on right now. So that's so funny that I just thought about that. Uh, but anyhow, so there's that. Next, we have another Pinky Rose Cosmetics palette, you guys. If you don't know about Pinky Rose, they're kind of like an indie brand, but they're getting a little bit bigger. Um, you do see them in BoxyCharm. I don't think I've seen them in Ipsy, but I was introduced to the brand through BoxyCharm. I have a ton of their palettes, as you have seen, if you have seen all of my um, eyeshadow palette tour collection videos, then you know that I love me some Pinky Rose. Uh, anyhow, this is the Sunflower palette. It is so cute. Very, very, very pretty colors. I've used it a handful of times. Again, guys, it's not because of the quality of the palette. I love the quality of Pinky Rose. So pigmented, so blendable, so beautiful but it's only just because I have so much that like I can't use everything every day. You just can't. Um, let's have a look, see though. This color right here, you guys, I love colors like this, kind of like a burnt orange golden shift. Yes, I always go for it. Do you guys, do you guys see like a sequence here whenever there's like a palette and I'm gonna swatch one or two, I always go for the color that looks like that. It's just so pretty to me. It's that pink golden shift. I love it. And you guys, the quality on uh, the Pinky Rose palettes are really, really good. And the price point is affordable. And especially when you can get them on the BoxyCharm sales for like five or six bucks, I am like totally freaking here for that. And I'm totally freaking buying every single one. So there's that. Next, I have a, oh, you guys, I love this palette. I forgot about this palette. I need to get back into this palette. This is the ColourPop Cabana Club palette. I got it from Ulta. I love this palette. Look at this, and I am not into blue shadows, guys, but that is so pretty. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. 
That is so stunning. The golden colors are beautiful as well. This is kind of, they kind of have like a cooler toned golden, which is that one right there, and then a warmer toned golden as well, which is something that I really, really like. And I mean, if you know, a lot of you are not a stranger to ColourPop cosmetics. This is the typical ColourPop formula, and it's just a beautiful palette. I just, I don't know. There's something about this palette that I really, really, really like. Next, I have something from the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Mini Ecstasy Sublime Palette. And I'm going to be honest, so I actually picked this up on Amazon. There is all the hype in the freaking world over Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palettes and I didn't have any out of my massive collection if you can believe it I don't have any Pat McGrath outside of this they're very expensive the palettes retail for like 200 and some dollars you know whatever they're they're freaking expensive you can find them on Macari for a discount um but they'll be swatched or they'll be lightly used or whatever um but I wanted to get one so I thought, let me go on Amazon and buy one of the minis. I think even the minis are like 20 bucks, you know, for like this little guy. Um, but totally doable. Like I can spend 20 bucks on something and see if I like it. And then what I was going to do was try out the formula, see if I was blown away by it. And then if I was, I would either go into Macari and find one that had has maybe a couple swatch marks on one or two of the colors and buy it for a huge discount, right? Um, but I didn't like it. I did not like the formula on this and I was shocked. You guys, I was shocked because people love Pam McGrath. If all of the, if the palettes sell out, the palettes sell out. When, when she comes out with a new palette and it's like $200 and it sells out, I'm like, you know, people love this shit. So what is going on with the smaller ones? It's got to be a different formula. Like it literally has to be. It's dry. It's chalky. It is pigmented. Very, very pigmented. But it didn't blend well at all. It was chalky and it was flaking off. Now, I mean, of course, as I'm saying that, the freaking swatch looks stunning. It didn't, it didn't work like that on the eyes, guys. I promise you, I tried. I tried. And I am no stranger to eye makeup. I, I know a thing or two about how to make different type of formulas work. I don't know. I didn't love it. And it made me not buy one of the big ones. But I still kind of want to because I feel like maybe there's a difference. Maybe I, you know, this is an, from Amazon. Maybe it could have be expired. Um, it could just be an off palette. Uh, it could be that the formulation on these smaller ones are different. And that's why they're way cheaper. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because I was like, what the? people are paying like $200 for these palettes for this formula. I don't get it. And I'm willing to pay it if it blows me away. That's the thing. Like I get spending money on makeup. I love makeup if you couldn't tell. And I'll spend money on makeup if it blows me away. But I was like, what? What? But that was my experience with the palette. I thought I'd share it with you. Moving along. Next, this is, what are you, baby? What are you? Okay, this is from Farah. So I'm assuming it came out of Ipsy. <laughs> yeah, it must have. I haven't used it. I swatched it whenever I got it on the Ipsy video for you guys. It's something that I will keep in mind for traveling uh, in the summer, um, camping trips, you know, whatever. Got to pack light going away for the weekend, what have you. I will, you know, throw things like this in my makeup bag to... Just do very simple looks while I'm away. Not something I'm going to be reaching for when I'm at home in my makeup beauty space, though. So, 
Okay, guys, we are down to the end here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're down to nine palettes. One of them is this Wet n Wild paint palette. And this has been in my collection hiding for the longest, guys. I used to use <laughs> the, look, this is, I'm going to declutter this. This, the top is broken. It's cracked. I don't know if you can see that, but it's cracked. Um, and I used to use these for eye primers years ago. Like I've literally had this for years, years guys. Um, and I would use this silver or the gold and uh, just kind of like put it on my lid and then put a shadow on top of it. And it actually would work decently for me, surprisingly. Um, but it's not something that I reach for anymore. And it's just taking up space and the packaging is broken and it's wet and wild. So if I want another one, it's like a dollar. So I'm gonna let this one go right into the garbage. <laughs> Okay, next, this is, okay, so this is a color quad from Il Maquillage, and trying to see, this is the Color Voss Squad Multi-Dimensional Eye Color Quad. What is the name, though? Make Moves. I know that I bought one for my Il Maqui my full face of Il Maquillage and Il Maquillage e-gift card video. But I also got one out of an Ipsy and I don't know which one this is because I can't remember. But they do have actually a really nice formula. It kind of looks like a boring palette, but the formula on... Um, the Il Maquillage is actually really, really nice as far as the shadows go. And the palette is super heavy. Like this little quad is a solid two or three pounds for sure. Um, and it's got the magnetized clothes. It just, it feels super luxe. It kind of, you know, like Charlotte Tilbury or, you know, Lane. It feels luxe. So I like that. Next, we have something from BH Cosmetics. I actually picked this up for like two bucks or something like that at my Marshalls last summer. And it is the BH Cosmetics Summer in St. Trapez. And it just looked like a really pretty colorful palette um, with some really, really pretty um, duo shift shimmers in there. And as you can see, I have definitely gotten into the shimmers. BH Cosmetics, um, in my opinion, for a brand that is kind of like what I like to say, like a tweener, like they're in between drugstore and high end. If you know, like in my humble opinion, that's what like BH Cosmetics, Makeup Revolution, um, you know, these kinds of brands, uh, you're not gonna necessarily find them at CVS, but um, they're gonna be at Ulta, they're gonna be at Marshalls, they're gonna be at TJ Maxx, and they're gonna be kind of like an in-between quality where it's not like it's like Charlotte T or Marc Jacobs or, uh, you know, higher end, but it's not, um, you know, LA Colors and uh, either, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's kind of where like BH falls for me, but they do have some nice palettes that have some quality shadows within them. So that being said, when it comes to a BH palette, I typically will like a couple colors out of the palette and that'll kind of be it. But for the price that we're paying for it, it's kind of worth it, if that makes sense. Especially when you pick them up at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I think like retail value for like a BH palette is like, you know, like maybe like 10, 15, 20 dollars kind of thing. But if you're getting it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, it's going to be like three, four, five, six dollar kind of thing. So definitely worth it for a color or two that are bomb ass. Um, and even if you don't use the rest of the palette, it costs you a couple bucks. And in my book, that's a win if it's got some good colors. So that's how I feel about that. <laughs> okay, moving along, I've got something from Makeup Obsessions. This is the Makeup Obsessions 
shadow palette. What is it? I can't read the calligraphy on here, but it says Makeup Obsessions Shadow Palette. It is pretty. It's a palette that I have used several times for a full look. All of those are removable, as you can see, and you can slip a new one in for with the magnetized palette. I don't know that I love the palette so much that I would be like removing a color and replacing it, but it's something that I'll keep in my collection because I've used it several times and it's actually very, very nice. Kind of like a very creamy, wet formula on that. Next, this is a palette I absolutely love, and there's such a funny story. Well, I don't know if it's like hilarious or anything, but there is a story associated with this palette. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics Transitions Palette. It is an all matte palette um, with huge pans of shadow. Like seriously, try panning one of those. Good luck especially with it being a mat, something that you're not digging your finger into and placing it. You're literally dusting your brush over the shadow and like dusting it into like outer areas or transition, transition areas, hence the name transition palette. Uh, anyhow, long story short, this was a choice in BoxyCharm quite some time ago. I looked at it and I'm like, that is the most boring palette I have ever effing scene. I don't want it. It was all matte, completely neutral, and like shimmers call my name. You like, when I, when I look at a palette, guys, it's the shimmers that draw me in, if I'm being honest, okay? So when I saw this palette and it's completely matte and all neutral, I'm like, boring city. I don't want that palette. I don't. But the product that it was up against, whatever it was that I cannot remember for the life of me at this time, because this was months ago, but I definitely didn't want that. So I went with the Dominique Transitions palette and I ended up so happy that I did. The formulation on these mats are the most non-patchy blendable formula that I, I mean I don't want to say that I've ever seen but it is up there the quality of this palette is a one so if you're looking for a neutral transition type palette definitely uh check this one out this is amazing it's so funny to me too because when I think about it like I didn't even want the thing and in fact I was pissed off about it I'm like I don't want that palette but I'm going to choose it because I definitely don't want the other thing and then I ended up loving it and then I also have another one of her palettes that I really like too and I have a lipstick of hers the soft matte focus lipstick and god I can't think of the shade it's right here Um, Sweet Nectar. I love this. I have been using the crap out of this, guys. It is so pretty for everyday wear. And it's a creamy, hydrating, soft matte. I love that. And it's so funny, too, because even with the lipstick, I bought it on a BoxyCharm sale, and I'm like, do I really want that? I mean, it's, it's not really ringing my bell, but, like, I kind of want to try it out, and I'm so glad that I did because I love it. I use it all the time. Same with that. Well, I, I can't say that I use it all the time, but I need to. I fell in love with it when I used it. I used it all the time for a minute, and then it got pushed aside because my collection is constantly growing because I get Ipsy, BoxyCharm, PR. I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> so my collection is constantly growing and things that I do love and that are absolutely high quality in my humble opinion get pushed aside. But guys, we've got four palettes left. What? This has been five videos deep and oh my God, I'm on 53 minutes. Holy shit. Okay, let's, let's get through this. Next is the Maven Beauty Cosmic Drip Eyeshadow Palette. Again, came out of BoxyCharm. It's got some actually really, really, really pretty shimmers. I'll just 
do like that. But the shimmers on that are gorgeous. Let me see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, you guys, there's two palettes left. This is an hour long video. Get the hell out of here. I honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to get this to upload. Uh, so we'll see. I might have to re, I might have to refilm this. <laughs> Next, this is the iHeart Revolution Cherry Pie Palette. I have used this here on the channel. Beautiful little pink and purple palette. Next, we have the Ofra Cosmetics Signature Palette. Can't get it open. There we go. This also came out of that high-end makeup mystery box from Etsy. Then we have in LA Colors. This is like Dollar Store brand. Uh, we have their 3-in-1 eyeshadow palette, Sassy Fancy Nude. And I think I actually got this from a Christmas present from a family member of mine, which was very, very nice of her. She knows that I love my makeup. Guys, this video is going on an hour. I've got to go. I love you. Be safe. I highly, highly doubt that there's anyone still here with me. But if you are, I love you for that. I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Your girl has got to go. Love you. Bye.